Obviously, I am not Dr. D. Uh, we do want to continue to be praying for Dr. Mooseberger and his wife as a family emergency has come up. Uh, nevertheless, I am grateful for Dr. D. Uh, in many ways, he exemplifies what we're going to be uh, sharing about today, and that is a lifelong attitude of learning. I remember when I first met Dr. Mooseberger a few years ago, and Dr. Canner introduced me to him, and of course Dr. Canner introduced me as a Texan. And Dr. Mooseberger said and walked up to him and he said, hey, do you know how to ride a horse? <laughs> asking a Texan if he knows how to ride a horse is like asking a Marine if he knows how to use a firearm. <laughs> Of course. He said, you know, I've always wanted to ride a horse. Uh, do you think you could give me some pointers? I said, I'll be glad to. And so sure enough, as a lifelong learner, Dr. Mooseberger set out to learn how to ride a horse. One afternoon he called me and said, hey, I've got a place. I'm going to go ride a horse. Would you go with me? Kind of give me some pointers. I said, I'd be glad to. Sure enough, we went to this place, got on the horse, began riding, and for about the first 30 seconds, Dr. Mooseberger looked like a true cowboy. But something happened, I'm not sure what, but the next thing I know, he was off the horse, his tennis shoe was still in the stirrup, and he was being drugged, so to speak. I really don't know what would have happened had the Walmart manager not come over and unplug <laughs> that horse. But, Mind you, he tried his best, and that is certainly modeled for all of us, especially in academics. I use Dr. D as an example of what we're honoring today, Honors Chapel. What we ask is that you do your best. Many of you have excelled and have done your best for the glory of our Lord. Some of you will be recognized today for doing so. Some of you have done your best and may not be recognized today. Nevertheless, I assure you by the authority of God's word, you have your reward. And yet, even if your name is not called, this is a day to honor all of you who have loved the Lord your God with your mind, which in the words of Jesus is the greatest command to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind. Perhaps you didn't know that performing well in academics and doing your best also fulfills the greatest command, but it does. And so, for those who chose to study rather than play the we, for those who chose to read instead of playing X360, for those of you who know what the inside of our library looks like, for those who actually started a research paper before the week it was due, today is our way of honoring you. You are the ones who have chosen the path of wisdom. In a very real way, whether your name is called or not, if you have done your best, for our Lord, we are honoring you. Welcome to Honors Chapel. I'm glad he didn't use me as an example. Uh, let me also bring my uh, greetings to you from all of the family of Truett McConnell College. I see a lot of guests with us today, family members, moms and dads, and so forth. Uh, welcome to Truett McConnell Chapel. As you already know, you're always welcome here. This is, of course, a special day. As uh, one scholar has noted, salvation comes by grace, but graduation comes by works. And uh, what you will see here today are students who have worked very diligently uh, in order to accomplish the best that they possibly could. I'll remind the students of one last thing, and we'll go on with the program. The goal of an institution like True McConnell that has a biblically-centered uh, worldview uh, is not that you can graduate and simply become businessmen and women, educators and the like, who happen to be Christian. Uh, but on the other hand, we hope that you are Christians who 
happen to excel in business and education and that you use your talents likewise. And so today, much of what is done here and all of the accolades that will be given are earned very diligently. But they're also earned for the glory of God, that he would be honored in the lives that are to follow if he tarries his coming. So for the students who are about to be awarded, congratulations. Congratulations on hard work and dedication. And just a reminder from the president how grateful we are for each and every one of you. How much you have sacrificed to be here financially and your talent and otherwise. We're grateful for you. We're grateful for you parents and others who are here. Thank you for taking part to a very special chapel. And now we go to our honors chapel. As we proceed, we would ask that the recipients uh, of the honors uh, ascend the stage on my left, receive your reward to my right, and descend also to my right. We begin with the recipients of the President's Club. Students whose academic load is not less than 12 semester hours of courses counting toward graduation, and who achieve a semester grade point average of 4.0 are named to the President's Club. Students recognized on Honors Day for this award have been on the President's Club's list for at least three semesters in a row. Will the audience please hold your applause until the 2011 President's Club recipients' names have been called. Mandy Shea Bentley. Stephanie Danielle Blankenship. Megan Lee Burns. Courtney Lynn Cart. Carrie Jo Cooper. Chalice Ann Price. Eric Michael Robbins. Rebecca Joan Russo. Hannah Nicole Shiver. James Buddy Smith. Jessica Ann Troop. Brian Adam Wisdom. And these are the 2011 recipients of the President's Club. Hey! Combination of Dean's List and President's Club. Students whose academic load is not less than 12 semester hours of courses, 
counting toward graduation, and who have been named to either the President's Club or the Dean's List for at least three semesters in a row receive this recognition. Again, will the audience please hold your applause until the co combined 2011 President's Club and Dean's List recipient names have been called. Denisha Lynn Beasley. Christopher David Bolton. Toby L. Cook. Christina May Davis. Melissa Ray Dixon. Brian Andrew Durham. Justin Sean Farmer. Bonnie Catherine Getchell. Henry Russell Harbuck. Brooke Jade Hester. Lauren E. Kelly. Alexander Lee Miller, Amy Elizabeth Moore, Nathan Gordon Pillsbury, Megan Tennille Puckett, Joshua Ray Rumpel. Sonia Denise Souther. Bailey Elizabeth Tomasello. Heather Nelson Welburn. Josiah David Welch. These are your 2011 Dean's List and Presidential's Club. Dean's List. Students whose academic load is not less than 12 semester hours of courses counting toward graduation and who receive a semester grade point average of 3.5 are named to the Dean's List. Students recognized on Honors Day for this award have been on the Dean's List for at least three semesters in a row. Again, will the audience please hold your applause until the 2011 Dean's List recipients' names have been called. Lauren Ashley Brown. Jessica Taylor Hampton.
Jared Haywood Marsh. Micah Cole Reisinger. Zachary Jordan Smith. Mary Therese Washell. Rachel Elizabeth Wilson. These are the recipients of the 2011 Dean's List. <laughs> Academic excellence by student athletes. Every year, the coaches, athletic director, athletic director, and the academic vice president choose a junior or senior who is a leader both on the field of competition and within the classroom. This year, there are two recipients, Kristen Young and Kyle Gruber. Congratulations. Each year we have the, uh, the honor of presenting the United Parcel Service Scholarship Award. And uh, this year's scholarship award goes to Amy E. Moore. Also, each year, the uh, family of Ashley Collis uh, has uh, generously provided a Memorial Scholarship Award in her honor. Uh, this year, they've had a family emergency and so are unable to attend to present the award, uh, but they have asked uh, for us to present the award uh, for a full-time female student who is also a member of the Truett McConnell College Women's Cross Country Team, and they've asked us to present the award to Mrs. Anna Noel Balajos. Hopefully I didn't. Each year, the faculty and staff of Truett McConnell College select from a group of seniors with grade point averages of 3.3 or higher, those whose character, participation in extracurricular activities, and community service they believe to have been exemplary. These students receive the Who's Who Among American Colleges and Universities certificate. I regret to say that the certificates have not arrived yet this year. So, we will get them to you as they do. Uh, the students to be so honored for 2010-2011 are as follows. Uh, please hold your applause, but come forward for a picture. Justin Farmer. I don't know where she wants me for a picture. <laughs> Lacey Muse. Megan Puckett. Uh, 
Hannah Shiver, and Brian Wisdom. The uh, Presidential Achievement Award uh, is an annual President's Achievement Award which is presented to a person or persons who exhibits unusual contributions to the life of Truett McConnell College by going beyond what is expected of them as an employee. The award can be made to any employee of the college and is selected by the President in consultation with other college employees. The award consists of a check to be used to supplement opportunities and a notation on a permanent plaque. Uh, this year's recipient is a great honor uh, for us, in particular as an institution. It is George Warwick. Uh, George started working at Troop McConnell College in 1972. At that point, I was two years old and you weren't even born. At the time, George was working at the Talon zipper plant when he was asked to work part-time for us. And then 10 years later in 1982, became full-time here at Troop McConnell College and was certified to work alongside the county and the city police uh, and in the state of Georgia. George, I hope you don't mind. I've taken the liberty to look into a little bit of your history of what you did. Uh, when he was certified in 1982, here are the weapons they gave him. Two uh, sawed-off shotguns, a pistol, not sure why you need both, but all right. Mace and a billy club. In his tenure here of almost four decades, he only arrested two students, which is amazing to me because I can think of more than two in this room that should be arrested at this point. <laughs> Of all the memories that many of our employees sent to me, the one that stuck out was many years ago uh, when in Sewell Hall, before air conditioning, they would keep the doors open for a draft and in came a rabid dog attacking students. George came quickly to the rescue and shot the rabid dog This was a time before PETA, I guess, existed, but uh, George, as most of you know, is married, uh, his beloved Polly, his grandson Ethan is with him today, he has one daughter as well, Angela. He has served True at McConnell College for nearly 40 years, and in today, in a very, very small way, we get to honor the legacy and the living dedication that is our good friend and one whom we love, George Warwick. Truett McConnell, would you do me the favor of honoring him as well today as he receives the President's Achievement Award. Each year, the Office of Academic Services chooses a faculty member who has excelled in teaching. The recipient of this award receives a $1,000 award funded by the Vulcans Materials Company and the Georgia Independent College Association. 
this year's recipient is Dr. Adam Harwood. Each year, our faculty selects a faculty member to receive the Faculty Excellence Award. The nominee demonstrates excellence in the classroom, actively pursues scholarly activities, and contributes to campus and community life by performing service above and beyond the duty of the call of duty. The recipient receives a $500 award from Truett McConnell College and carries the mace in academic ceremonies. This year's recipient was unable to be here. Nevertheless, this year's recipient of the Faculty Excellence Award goes to Dr. Janet Forney. As the uh, BCM campus minister, I get the privilege of serving with some great students, some of the best students at Troop McConnell College. Uh, the BCM ministries and, and all of its facets only happen because students give and serve and sacrifice so much um, for the sake of Christ. The BCM Servant Award is given each year to an individual that has gone beyond, beyond the call of duty that has shown extraordinary service. The fact is, this year I can give it to a dozen students who have done so much behind the scenes, have made things possible, made things happen, that have done it for not for the praise of, of men, but for the praise of the Lord. And so this year, this year, we want to give it to a person who has shown great love and compassion to the community of Cleveland, who has planted the seeds to, that has developed into the ultimately what we've called this semester the Engage Ministries, where dozens of you guys have been able to go into the community and done so much as far as service to the community and showing the love and, 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 and the gospel of Christ to many. So this year's award goes to a person who's actually literally engaged, Joy McCord. Each year, our academic divisions select an outstanding student for academic achievement within their divisions. Division chairs will present the awards, and Mr. Don Tatum will present the award in Dr. Janet Forney's absence. Good morning. Today's award goes to a person, and I've, I had never done this for a person before. I have made recommendations for people to go to school, to graduate schools, for hiring and things like that. I have never given a recommendation for someone to attend the Wharton School of Business. The Wharton School of Business is the number one premier business school in the United States. Our Academic Achievement Award today goes to Justin Farmer. Before we name our Outstanding Academic Achievement Award winners for the Teacher Education Program, the Pearl Nick Scholarship is given to um, 
aspiring teacher education candidates, not necessarily those who are graduating, but uh, we would like to recognize two individuals today for receiving the Pearl Nix Scholarship. These go to Denisha Beasley and Tiffany Robinson. Ephesians 4.1 states, As a prisoner for the Lord, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. In the teacher education program at Truett McConnell College, we discuss Ephesians 4.1 a great deal because we recognize individuals cannot be teachers unless they have been called by God to do so. And we have two recipients of the Academic Outstanding Achievement Award for teacher education. And uh, these two individuals exemplify great success, not only in the college classroom, but also in their field placement classrooms. We would like to recognize, and these student, students were chosen by the entire education faculty, Mrs. Sonia Souther and Ms. Hannah Shiver. We purchased for each of them a journal uh, so that they may reflect. We talk a lot about reflection in teacher education, and so each of them has a journal to begin their career as teachers. In Psalm 33, we read these words, Sing for joy in the Lord, O you righteous ones. Praise is becoming to the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with a lyre. Sing praise to him with a harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. The music award is given to a student who excels in performance skills, ensemble participation, as well as academic achievement. Today's recipient has been a wonderful music student in their four years and has served our division faithfully as well as the college. It is my privilege to announce the recipient of this year's award to Mr. Nathan Pillsbury. The gift was a new Harvard Dictionary of Music that will be useful in his graduate studies. The Humanities Division covers a broad array of disciplines from history, political science, English, speech, and also the modern languages and also a dead one, Latin. <laughs> this year's Outstanding Achievement Award for the Humanities is Bonnie Catherine Getchell. Outstanding Achievement Award in Humanities goes to Brian Adam Wisdom.
the Outstanding Achievement Award in the Humanities goes to Bailey Elizabeth Tomasello. We have two recipients for the outstanding uh, uh, academic excellence in math and uh, natural science uh, division, and that's Chalice Price and Chris Bolton. In the World Mission and Christian Studies Division, we have two recipients. In the area for Christian Studies is Jared Marsh, and in the area for World Missions is Lauren Brown. The Student Leadership Award is given annually to a student who has shown strong leadership capabilities and qualities among the student body. Uh, this year's recipient has, has been a leader uh, spiritually, academically, and socially on our campus. During her time here, she served in, in a number of ways, including uh, assisting with our women's basketball program, uh, serving as the president of our campus activities board, and also as a resident assistant. This year's award goes to Bailey Tomasello. If you will, let's go ahead and rise for the benediction. 